Thanks for checking out this video. As most of you know, Lumion came out with the Lumion 12 trailer today. So it's just a quick little teaser. It only shows maybe 20 seconds of actual footage. And there are a couple things that I think I've kind of picked out as new features. I'm not going to get too much into, I guess, like I know a lot of people have been talking about the D5 trailer. So I'm going to be making another video about that and kind of talking about the Lumion 12 trailer in comparison to that. But in this one, I'm just going to try and focus on the actual changes that I see in that. And then another video will be released hopefully later today, just kind of talking about uh, the two trailers. So right at the beginning here, there are, it looks to me like there's two new human models. So maybe this is an older one. I can't quite tell, but I do believe that the guy walking, that is a new model. And just so people are clear about this too, I don't think a lot of these models are actually going to be included in Lumion 12. The reason is, is that this is actually an Evermotion scene. Uh, so it, you know, it's not uncommon for people to just use Evermotion scenes because they can be quickly converted to Lumion. And Lumion does use a lot of them uh, themselves. So perhaps I'm wrong about that because Lumion does have at least some kind of partnership with uh, Evermotion. So maybe these models are going to be included, but I would say the majority of them are not going to be. Uh, so yeah, maybe, may, again, maybe I'm wrong about that because this is just kind of speculation, but it also looks like there is an HDRI. So maybe this is a new HDRI. Maybe there's some kind of new lighting system with the sun. Uh, I'm not sure about that. It's to me, I would guess that it's new real sky. So that they're just going to add more in or some other kind of different feature. That's just going to, it's going to give you more options with what kind of lighting you can use. And, you know, it does, I, I actually will say this maybe, and this is something I may be wrong about too. The, the shadows over here do actually look a little bit different. So maybe it's just like, maybe it's it's been you know edited a little with like post production or maybe there's some maybe there's some like something going on with the shadows but it does look a little bit different than what i'm used to seeing with lumion shadows so that could mean that it's either as i said just kind of an update to like the sun or the shadows effect but it's also possible that maybe there was an update to hyperlight um the reason why i think that is because typically something like this like you normally see hyperlight if it's turned up high kind of taken over so Maybe it's just not even being used here. I'll show you now what the the definite big feature is that they people have been asking for for a while. You know, is it is it enough if this is one of the biggest features? Maybe not, but I'll get into that in another video coming soon. So when the, these turn on right here, and so there's kind of like a dust in the air, so it's a volumetric light effect. Now. Personally, I don't have too many uses for this. Uh, it is it is interesting, and I do like when they add in these sort of niche particle volumetric effects. Like I, I am a really big fan of the volumetric fire. I think that that is actually something that Lumion did very very well. It uh, I, I wish that I had the volumetric fire and some of the other softwares that I use because Lumion's is so cheap and it's so like it's so customizable that I do think they did a great job on that. This one, I don't think is going to get as much use, but it, for these kind of scenes where you're going for this kind of like dusty, hazy look, it is really good to have. And if you uh, ever have to set up sort of like stages or some kind of lighting uh, plan in Lumion, I think that having these could be helpful because it'll give you, I guess, more of like this theatrical effect. And then, yeah, so then it zooms in here. So maybe there's going to be you know, some new wood textures, something like that. Um, I don't think that this, while I do really like these models inside of Lumion, I don't know if that's actually going to really play an impact on it. This probably just is like some SketchUp file that they scaled down and put a wood texture on. But this is what I was kind of saying with, I don't know how many of these will actually be included. So this was all kind of part of the Evermotion scene. And I'll have that kind of flash up there. So they could be included, they could not be. But for the most part, that's all we can really tell from this. So, you know, to my at least kind of looking at this first glance, it doesn't look like there's going to be 
some of the changes that people are really expecting. I am going to be releasing a follow-up part to this. I wouldn't quite call it a part two, where I am going to be talking more about the D5 trailer in comparison to the Lumion one. This one, I wanted to focus really on what I think could be added in. And as I mentioned, there really is no way of knowing what is going to be added into Lumion 12 until it is actually released. But that is something that we can discuss in the next video. For now though, I just want to say thank you for checking out the video for those of you who stayed until the end. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. I'd really like to see you in the comments in some of our future videos. I am hopefully going to be releasing quite a bit more videos, not only on this channel, but also on my other four channels coming up very soon. We have been fairly busy lately, but uh, I have also learned quite a bit of stuff that I want to share with people and also doing some completed projects that I think will be really interesting. For now though, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.